If there's one fuel we rely on above all others to keep the wheels of the modern world turning, it has to be good old gasoline. Every day around 800 million greedy vehicles guzzle 7 billion litres of the stuff and our unquenchable thirst is constantly on the up. Keeping the world's fuel lines flowing safely with this highly flammable liquid is an incredibly complex and potentially hazardous business and demands a mix of engineering brilliance, chemical wizardry and good old guts and grunt. So, how do they do it? this hot, barren, windswept landscape, you'd be forgiven for assuming this area must be a rural backwater. But in fact, this is one of the richest spots in the world, because Texas is home to the American oil industry. They've been drilling oil here since 1894. But it wasn't until 1901 that the oil boom really took off when, at a stroke, the Lucas Gusher tripled US oil production. Since then, almost 60 billion barrels have been pumped out from the Texan soil. And if the oil companies have got their sums right, there are another 10 billion barrels or so still to be extracted. The sticky, smelly, black liquid thereafter is crude oil, which is the raw material needed for making gasoline. It was formed from the remains of tiny sea plants and animals during the Permian period. Thanks to the action of heat and pressure, 250 million years later, they've been transformed into one of the world's most vital sources of energy. This is black gold, Texas tea, the best there is. It smells like rotten eggs, but it also smells like money. On this hot, sticky Texas morning, the crew of Derrick Rig 62 are setting to work sinking a new well. Every month, more than 2,000 new wells are drilled here in Texas, and together they pump out over 900,000 barrels of crude oil per day. To keep that oil flowing, producers like Occidental Petroleum sink an average of one new well a day. So for workers like Rick Baker, this hot, noisy, back-breaking job is very much business as usual. I love this job a lot, you know. I've been, uh, been doing this for 11 years. We take pride on our work. It's like a big family out here on this rig right here. But the team face an arduous task getting the oil out. In this area, known as the Permian Basin, the crude lies up to 4,000 meters down, trapped in rocks up to 542 million years old. To reach it, they use the Derrick's huge motors to grind a diamond-tipped drill bit deep into the earth. But all the friction creates huge amounts of heat so high-pressure water is constantly pumped down a pipe to cool the cutting head. The water then carries the cuttings back to the surface as drilling mud. It's noisy, dangerous work. Rick needs to keep the pressure on the drill bit just right. Too little and it won't cut, too much and it'll fracture. What's more, he must constantly be on guard for the threat of gas releases, which could cause catastrophic explosions. What kind of drilling rig is real dangerous? Uh, he had to be uh, pretty well tough to be out there doing this kind of work. As they drill, the team need to constantly attach new 9-metre lengths of drilling pipe using an enormous 5-tonne automated wrench called an iron roughneck. With the drill head burrowing at around five meters an hour, this arduous task must be repeated every couple of hours, 24 hours a day. Eventually, if they're lucky, they strike oil. 
Initially, the pressure of the trapped oil forces it through small holes in the finished pipe and up to the surface. But this natural pressure doesn't last forever, so to keep the crude flowing, they use one of these. This is called a pumping jack, or nodding donkey. The circular motion of the powered flywheel is converted into vertical motion, and like an enormous metal syringe, it sucks the oil to the surface. Dotted across the empty plains, these quietly insistent nodding donkeys harvest the black gold of Texas. But these oil fields are many kilometers from where the crude oil is needed. So a series of pumps feed it to a pipeline and off on a 1,000 kilometer long journey to a destination on the other side of the state. This extraordinary citadel of pipework is Baytown. Less than 50 kilometers from Houston, it looks like part of the futuristic set of Blade Runner and is the single largest oil refinery in the whole of the US. With over 8,000 kilometers of metal piping sprawling over 10 square kilometers, this place can refine over 562,000 barrels of crude oil every day. Not only does it get incredibly hot here, the noise is so deafening, its 4,000 strong workforce get through over a million ear protectors every year. The place is so huge, not only does it guzzle Texan crude oil, it also sucks in supplies from all around the world. To satisfy Baytown's thirst, vast 300 meter long ships arrive at the specially constructed docks. Over 20 of these massive vessels arrive every month, each one delivering up to 3 million barrels.